Mrs. Cairo borrowed 235000 and $200 from a bank to start a business. So this money that she borrowed, right, she need to pay interest. The bank will not just lend you money for nothing. You definitely need to pay them something, right? Then they will lend it to you, all right? And the terms and conditions in a way, the yearly interest are shown in the table here. So the first year, that means when she don't pay up the, when she does not pay up the full amount, right? Okay, she has to pay people interest, right? right? So the first year, she has to actually pay a 5% of the original borrowed amount. So 5% off, off means times. So your 5%, if you create into a fraction, then times the original borrowed amount, okay, that will be the interest payable for the first year. All right, one year. And then, of course, subsequent, second year, a different percentage. Third year onwards, a different percentage. And this one represents yearly. So third year will be charged 3%. Fourth year, 3%. Fifth year, 3%. Every year onwards until she paid up the full amount. All right? If she did not pay up, then it will just be added on. All right? Okay. So part A, if you look at what they are asking, the average monthly interest that she had, that she paid in the first year. So what we can do as our first step is find the yearly interest first for the first year. All right? Okay, so year one, the yearly interest, 5% of the original. Okay, 5 out of 100 times the 235,000 and 235,200. Okay? And what you'll be getting here will be $11,760. Okay? This is for one whole year. All right? Question asked for monthly and it's related to average. What do you need to do? Divide by 12. Why 12? Because one year there are 12 months. So your part A, to get the monthly, 11,760 divided by 12, you will get 980. Alright? So take note, when you write on the blank here, what must you do? The dollar sign, all right? So, $980. Okay? Please remember to write dollar sign, okay? Or whatever measurement you need that is stated. Okay? Now, for part B. Part B asks for total amount of interest that she has to pay for the five years. Okay? There's a few ways that you can do this, the long way or the short way. Lah. If you want to do by the long way, right, practically it means first year this amount already, right? Then you go and find second year using 4% times this. And then third year, 3% times this. And then after that, you go and add up all the big, big amount that you're getting. All right? That is one way that you can do, but that is a very long way. Okay? A shorter way will be we find the total percentage that she need to pay, all right? But one thing you got to take note, the only time you can add up all the different percentage is when the total is the same. If the percentage is not based on the same total, you cannot add up all the percentages and then go and multiply, understand? But you can see that all this is original borrowed amount, original borrowed amount, original borrowed amount, right? Means all the total are the same, right? So, you just add up all the percentages. It will be faster and easier. Alright? So, the total percentage first year is a 5%, second year, 4%. Right? And then, third year, 3%, fourth year also, 
and lastly, the fifth year, 3%. Alright? So, what is the total percent over here? Five four three three three. What do you have? Eighteen. All right. So eighteen percent. So with the total percentage that she had to pay is eighteen percent. We use the eighteen percent to multiply by the total amount, the the borrowed amount. Then you will get the total interest that she paid in the five years. All right. So for part B. 18%, we change it to the fraction, 18 out of 100, then multiply by the 235,000 and $200, you will get 42,336. Okay, 42336, all right, take note. Then, right on the blank here, what must you remember? Yeah, dollar sign. Okay. Okay, $42,336. Alright, 